All right, so we are going to look at a evaluate question. So this is a fun, I think it's fun, CR question type. Um, evaluate questions are kind of interesting because um, the language here where it says what would be most important to determine that word determine is really the clue that it's an evaluate question. Um, I don't know why I didn't finish writing that word. Um, <laughs> so the first thing obviously that you do with any CR question is go to the question stem and figure out which question type it is. So we've done that. Um, and it's asking which of the following would be most important for the Hazleton government to determine before deciding whether to grant the request. Um, oh, and really quickly, if you want to look at the full unredacted portion, I just had to redact bits of it for copyright. So if you want to check out the full question, go ahead and click the link in the description box and come back when you're ready. All right. So now that we understand what the question type is, um, let's break down the argument. So it says the Hazleton Coal Processing Plant is a major employer in the Hazleton area, but the national uh, environmental regulations will force it to close if it continues to um, continues to use polluting methods. Okay, so we have this plant, right? Maybe I'm gonna draw a little plant, right? And it has, you know, a lot of employees, right? But it's got this pollution. So there's sort of pros and cons, right? Pluses and minuses. Employs tons of people, but it's polluting. However, to update the plant to use cleaner methods would be so expensive that the plant will close unless it receives the tax break it requested. Okay, so basically to improve this, it's going to cost money, right? And therefore, they need a tax break. That's where they're hoping to get the money from. And if they don't get it, then the whole thing is going to close, right? If they don't, if they do not get their tax break. Um, in order to prevent a major increase in local unemployment, the Hazleton government is considering granting the request. All right, so what's interesting is we know from earlier that they employ a lot of people. They said that it's a major employer in Hazleton, but then this last sentence doubles down on that and says that in order to prevent a major increase in local unemployment. So there is assumption here, right, that these people being employed represent um, a major, uh, like a major population group for the Hazleton area, right? So that if these people are unemployed, then there will somehow be major unemployment. So that jump in the conclusion, that's really what we're here to evaluate. Like, will it be major? You know, is it going to be really significant? What is the percentage? You know, how how much do these employees represent, you know, all of Hazleton? So our prediction here when it's asking which of the following would be most important for Hazleton government to determine before deciding whether to grant the request is, you know, how how big are the consequences? And I don't mean pollution consequences. I mean, you know, the unemployment consequences. How, so many arrows. <laughs> How bad is it going to be? How big are those consequences? That's really what they need to consider. So now that we've got a prediction, let's take a look at the answer choices. So uh, A says, whether the company that owns the plant would open a new plant, uh, a new plant in another area if the present plant were closed, Right. Problem is, it talks about another area and the conclusion specifically talks about local unemployment. So that is out of scope. B, whether the plant would employ fewer workers when updated than it does now. That could be interesting, right? Because let's look at these scenarios. Let's say yes. Let's say they employ, they update it. But part of that, it means it's more efficient to run it. So they don't need as many people. Well, that would kind of defeat the purpose because you'd give them the tax break, they'd, they'd fire up some people once they made the updates. And so potentially you could still have an unemployment problem if let's say they let go 50% of their workforce. Um, but on the other side, if they would not employ fewer workers, if they would still, everybody would still have their job, but it would just pollute less, then yeah, maybe they should give the tax break. So this one is pretty good. Let's take a look at C, whether the level of pollutants presently being emitted is high enough to constitute a health hazard, right? So this is sort of classic wrong answer trap for evaluate questions. Really for evaluate questions, you're here to evaluate that conclusion sentence. You're not here to 
evaluate the evidence really. So focusing on the pollutants, right? That's just way too, way too much focus on the evidence. It's not addressing the unemployment, which is really the crux of this argument. So C is wrong, wrong, wrong. D says whether the majority of the coal processed by the plant is sold outside of Hazleton, right? Where they sell the coal. I mean, again, totally out of scope, has nothing to do with unemployment. E, whether the plant would be able to process more coal than it does now. Again, it's focusing on the output like E, I'm sorry, like D, so E is incorrect. So the only answer choice that correctly helps us evaluate whether or not the government should grant this request uh, and addresses the idea of unemployment is B. So B is our correct answer. So again, the takeaways for evaluate questions is you really are only evaluating the conclusion sentence. That doesn't mean don't read the premises or, and break them down. It's not what I'm saying, but you really, really need to focus on the conclusion for evaluate questions. Uh, I suppose in a way, I sort of think evaluate questions is like a cousin to assumption questions. So that's this problem. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below.